Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this objective. So this objective has a couple of different tests in there, and, you know, each objective, you know, is going to have just a little bit of a, you know, piece of the puzzle, per se. So at the end, we will put everything together. So for right now, you're going to have to, like, learn these different tests. It's kind of similar to integration, where it's like, oh, I'm going to teach you how to do reverse the power rule, and then I'm going to teach you to use substitution, and then I'm going to teach you integration by parts, and then we're going to put it all together and you have to decide what you're supposed to do and when you're supposed to do it. So it's kind of the same thing with this unit. So we start off what's called the divergence test or the nth term test. And so all you're gonna start doing is determining whether or not a series, an infinite series, converges or diverges. And there's just different tests that you have to do to determine whether or not something is convergent or divergent. Um, and so we're going to look at um, here this particular series, and we're going to see whether or not it converges or diverges. This series, um, we're going to use what's called the divergence test. It is never to prove that something converges. So, and this is similar to like the integrals, the improper integrals that we were doing before. We're just trying to evaluate um, the integrals. And with infinite series, we can actually find out what the sum is. Um, we'll find out the sum of a geometric series because there's a formula for that. Um, but other, other than that, the rest of the series, you know, without using some sort of computer program, we just want to test to see whether or not it converges or it diverges. If it converges, then in theory, what you would want to do is take that series and plug it into some sort of computer program like Mathematica, and you would want to figure out um, what that series actually converges to. Um, and so we'll look at um, just different tests to see whether or not it'd be worthwhile to look at um, a program to um, get an actual convergent number. So if I look at example one, if I will use the divergence test anytime I can take the limit as n approaches infinity and get something that's other than zero. If it's equal to zero, it doesn't tell me anything. So here in this case, this limit as n approaches infinity is the definition of a horizontal asymptote, remember? Or you take the ratio of the largest exponent in the top and the bottom. So you take your limit as n approaches infinity, n over n plus 1, and this goes to, remember we had to multiply back in advanced math, we multiply the top and bottom by um, 1 over n. Or I showed you guys the shortcut before, which is I take the ratio of these two, which is just 1, and there's no n that's left, so I don't have to worry about the limit. If there was an n left, then I still have to worry about the limit. But the n's cancel out, and I get 1, which in this case is not 0. So this series diverges. And it diverges by the divergence test or the nth term test. On a free response test, I would expect that you tell me what test makes it convergent or divergent. So you would say that n equals 1 to infinity, n over n plus 1 is divergent by the divergence test. There's also a series where um, that's called a telescoping series, where you can actually find the sum of that series as well. But the reason why you could find the sum of that series is because, like I have this here, and when I plug in 1 in for my n's, I get this first term. Then when I plug in 2 in for my n's, I get this term. 3 in for my n's, 4 in for my n's, 5 in for my n's, so on and so forth. And if I regroup these in any way that makes it convenient for myself, I can group the negative one-half and positive one-half, negative a third and positive a third, negative a fourth and positive a fourth, and the one fits together, and all of these terms go to zero, and I'm just left with my first term there. So this sum of this series is equal to one because it's a telescoping series. So all the other terms go towards um, zero. And then the next test is what we call a P-series test. So P-series test works when you only have like a number, you have no variable on the top, and you just have something n to um, some number in the bottom. 
If that number is bigger than one, the series converges. If it is less than or equal to one, it diverges. If it's equal to one, the series is called a divergent harmonic series, which has a application for um, physics. Okay, so here I look at my exponent. Does it converge or diverge? Well, four thirds is greater than one, so that means convergent. So that means that this series, n is equal to 1 to infinity, 1 over x to the 4 thirds power converges by the p-series test. And then there's um, geometric series, which you might have seen in a previous class. You know, I know you for sure saw finite geometric series, but you might have seen an a, uh, infinite geometric series. An infinite geometric series um, has the exponent in the numer or the ex uh, the variable in the exponent, and then um, you have you know typically you'll have fractions or you could have whole numbers that are here. So what you do is you look at the thing that has the n as the exponent, so that two thirds, and if that two thirds is between negative 1 and positive 1, the series converges. And if, the ser if it's bigger than 1 or smaller than negative 1, so if r is smaller than or equal to negative 1 or r is bigger than or equal to 1, the series diverges. And if you're between negative 1 and positive 1, it converges. So in this case, my common ratio is 2 thirds. Negative 1 is less than 2 thirds, which is less than 1. So this series converges. And then to find the sum of an infinite series, the sum is equal to the first term divided by 1 minus the common ratio. And I say first term because not always is the first term the number in front here. Sometimes the first term is something different. So in this case, my sum is 5 fourths because I'm plugging in 0 in for my n. So 2 thirds to the 0 power is 1 divided by 1 minus 2 thirds. So 5 fourths divided by 1 third is 5 fourths times 3 over 1, which is 15 over 4. So my sum of this geometric series converges, and it converges to 15 over 4. Okay? And that is it for this lesson.